Hello viewers. It is said that time is money. So humans try to save time in everything. One thing which consumes very much time in life of human beings is traveling. And if needed to travel long distances, it takes very long time for traveling. We devise bicycles, cars, bikes, trains, and then airplanes. Thing makes trains so slow. Two things: one, friction; second, air resistance. You will be aware of friction. Air drag also plays very much role. It is the resistance force of air. To resist friction, we devised. maglev trains which move with about 600 km per hour of speed and airplanes which move with 800 to 900 km per hour speed but what about air drag air is everywhere how can we reduce air drag so the possible answer was given by hyperloop concept concept of hyperloop was given by elon musk in 2013 So air drag is reduced by making vacuum tubes in which trains but ports travel with magnetic levitation and it gives the speed of about 1200 km per hour. Let's now see the design of hyperloop. The air is removed by vacuum pumps in tubes which contain solar plates which generate electricity. the tubes are present in pillars then how the passengers will respire pods inside will be fully ventilated then the pods contain an aerodynamic nose we cannot produce 100% vacuum so the pods front sucks air and the pump at the back removes the air to reduce air drag now see the drawbacks of hyperloop first initial construction cost is very much however its application cost is not much second if any disaster happens so we don't know about the safety of the passengers today third point if there is some problem in the machinery of it then very much difficulty will be faced to rescue the passengers because it is a closed mechanism of pipes so this was all about hyperloop thank you